What up guys, uh, it's Hayden. Uh, today I'm going to do a video that's a little bit different. Um, I'm going to be starting to uh, review a lot of the guitars that I've got. Um, I buy a lot of them from pawn shops and things like that uh, in the city that I live in. I'll give you some tips, some things to look for. Um, if that's something that you guys are into, but I do a lot of thrifting. I do a lot of shopping at the pawn shops and, and things like that. So, um, I'm actually going to be doing some, some, uh, refinishing and some rebuilding of guitars. I got <clears throat> an SG project that I'm going to start probably in a couple days. I will, uh, go step by step with a lot of that stuff as well. Today, a little bit different. It's a guitar MacGyver type thing. Um, teach you guys how to make a really kick-ass guitar strap uh, out of the cheapest stuff that you can find. That sounds horrible, but if you're, uh, if you're a big metal head, which, God, I hate that word, uh, and you want some big kick-ass gnarly guitar strap, and you don't want to pay 80 bucks for it, maybe uh, this will help you out. First thing that you want to get is, and I put it right here, is uh, I went to Guitar Center and bought one of these straps for $4. Um, I'm not going to say what brand it is, but there's a logo. Anyway, 4 bucks, uh, cheap canvas guitar strap. Um, it's uh, obviously it gets the job done, but does it look cool? Does it look metal? Not really. So, four bucks. And then you want to cruise the thrift stores. Um, I prefer the Goodwill stores because, I mean, they're everywhere. Uh, stuff is, you know, pretty cool that you get there. I buy a lot of stuff for the house at the Goodwills, and uh, I mean, you find some really creepy stuff. That's kind of a thing. So, anyway, for your guitar strap, you want to check the belt section. And I found this belt. It is a kind of patent leather, uh, wide 1980s chubby girl belt. Uh, Hey, that's just what I call it. Whatever. Um, so you're going to take this. Your first step is going to be measuring out how long you want your strap because this part is not going to be all that adjustable once you start sewing. And yeah, we're going to be sewing how hardcore and metal is that. So I measured this out. I'm putting this one on my AXL Badwater which I got at a pawn shop for 75 bucks. There is absolutely nothing wrong with it. Um, it's got the uh, EMG design pickups for AXL in it. Sounds really cool. I will review this another time. Um, I just, I love the way it looks and it is a you know, it is a set neck. It's not a Les Paul copy, but it is a Les Paul style. Um, pretty badass. So what you want to do is measure how long you want the strap to be. So you're going to put the strap on. You're going to um, you're going to measure how you want your guitar to hang. If you want it to hang super low, like, uh, I don't know, like you're in a punk band, cool, whatever. If you want it way up here, like, Maybe you're in a mariachi band, I don't know. You know, just measured out. And then what you're gonna do is, see I've already done that. Um, I have cut off the, the part of the belt that has the holes because it's not very metal to have holes in your guitar strap that make it look like a belt, right? Whatever. But save this, because you never know when you're gonna need it. Um, you may make something else and you want this. So hang on to your pieces. The next thing that you're gonna do 
is you're going to kind of line up how you want your strap. I like to cover up the logo. I've already cut this, um, so it will fit on there about like that. So it actually kind of looks like a strap. Your next thing that you want to do is, and it's not a very straight line. It doesn't matter. It's, you know, anybody that comes up and says, oh, you're, you're sewing around your guitar strap is not straight. They need to find a hobby because yeah, it's stupid. So you just don't want these things coming apart. So you want to make sure that you sew around that. Next thing you want to do is line up how you want it. I'm going to do mine about like that. And then I'm not going to sew the whole thing right in front of you guys, but I will give you just a taste. Okay. First part is you want to sew this down right here. because that's gonna hold the rest of it together while you're sewing it. Make sure it's, make sure it's kinda even underneath. Well, not kind of, you want it, you want it even underneath so it uh, doesn't look absolutely ridiculous. Okay. And you're gonna sew, if you can get through there, Gonna sew a line right across and back stitch it. Okay. And then you're gonna go around. And you're going to find the corner of your your bottom strap. And you're gonna sew along that. So, I'm going to pause it for a minute, and then we're going to uh, have a look when it's done. I'll show you the other tips, and we're good to go. Okay. Just finishing up here. Done. Remember to back stitch. Okay. Trim your threads off. this out of the way there we go and as you can see I have got a much cooler uh, guitar strap than the one I started out with um, it's uh, it gets the job done looks a little bit cooler and we're gonna try it on Just here. That is way cooler than the plain canvas strap. So there you go. You can have a, a pretty metal guitar strap for uh, less than ten bucks. Obviously, if you want to go all out with it, you can go all out with it. You can put grommets in it. You can get grommets at uh, 
a lot of fabric stores. You can get them at Walmart. Um, if you're going to put grommets in it, and for those of you that don't know what a grommet is, is a metal hole or a, a hole with a big metal jobby through it. Jobby is obviously the technical term. Um, if you're going to put grommets in it, you're going to have to buy the right size grommets for the job. You're going to have to cut a lot of holes in your strap. And uh, that's kind of a pain in the ass. And then you're going to need a setting tool. A uh, setting tool is a uh, metal cylinder and it comes with a little, uh, I don't even know what, I don't even know what it's called. It's a little metal, metal disc that you put the grommet on once you put it through the material. You have to hit it with a hammer and it spreads out and it looks way cool. Uh, you can put studs in it. If you're a punk dude, you can put, uh, or punk chick, safety pins. Um, you sew patches on it. You can put, um, plaid flannel on it again with the punk rock thing uh, you can buy all kinds of crazy tchotchkes and sew them on glue them on punch them in there screw them on whatever you want to do but i mean maybe it's you know maybe it's not uh an 80 dollar guitar strap but dude it's gonna work for what i want it to work for so and it looks cool so, uh, that being said, that's all I got. Get yourself a sewing machine and still be metal.